Hello, thanks for watching our YouTube video. Welcome back to our Japan Reiki Association channel. So here I am in Hong Kong. I'm Satoy recording the video today. How are you today? So um, I hope you do well. But today i like to share one story actually I was posting in my Japanese blog and then that's uh, many people reacted. So I think that I it's a good idea to do again. So I say about it uh, in English on our YouTube channel. So I hope you'll be more understanding about what I wanted to say uh, there. Yeah, um, this story related in the past, in my lifetime, so that was the story when I was very stressed and then I really don't know how, what to do, so I'm, I'm totally uh, stressed out and then uh, before I'm, I'm meeting Reiki that time. So, but you know, I all the time I'm quite uh, interested in how to build my strong mentality, so I'm quite serious person, I read many books and then sometimes even I attended some, some classes to know more about me and uh, stuff like that and then other time I am raising the kids. So I also attended several workshops and seminars to do the good uh, parenting way, uh, many things. Yeah, but um, gradually I thought maybe keeping the strong belief can build a strong mentality. Yeah. Do you think so? By the way, I don't know. I want to know how many people can say that, yes, I'm agree. I need to have a strong belief, can keep my myself really strong. Um, for me, it sounds like religion. Yeah. If you work on your, your things that you believe, so you do the routine, and it does also helping you building a lot of confidence, and maybe that somehow become more stronger people like in the mental level. I also was thinking the same way. So I think that I have to work on, I really need to make effort to, to, to keep my mentality strong by having the strong belief. Because I learned natural therapy like aromatherapy, homeopathy, and Chinese medicine, and then you know those uh, therapy, uh, what they taught me, you know, in in the book or sometimes in the workshop, and then it really makes sense to me. And then I also I want to say thank you those uh, you know the knowledge giving me more idea about what to do. I'm not really denying them at all. But I gradually became the person, I really became very stubborn that having the very strong belief, sometimes I also don't want to hear others, like especially when other people having the different opinions and then this is against uh, what I believe or what I, I think good. So sometimes it's feel really depressed about that and then I really don't know what to do. Um, it's okay, it's fine if, you know, some people, for example, on the street or maybe when you're watching the TV, you also uh, un feel unhappy watching about the news, for example, like, you know, how the news telling you the some sad story, like every day a lot of stories uh, in news. Um, of course, we create uh, many different negative emotions as well. But I'm kind of totally broken, like for example, my family member doesn't really support me. Uh, maybe uh, their opinion totally different from me. So that was too painful for me. And then I believe that this experience, this these things is almost applied to everybody. So everybody think that it's good to, you know, keep having the people around you. Maybe they have the uh, same ideas, same opinions. But unfortunately, sometimes maybe you have your opinion and then they have their opinions. Yeah, so this is really uh, difficult. Like you feel like a not easy, uh, good communication you can create with your family members or other closer friends. Um, so we hope to avoid those uh, situations as well. But this is me in the past, like I'm more based on what is correct, what is wrong. So in my logical thinking, if I felt that it's wrong or it's correct, so I always follow in that way. I only keep all those correct ideas with me and sometimes people come with me the wrong ideas. Um, 
it's good if I can say, oh, don't be joking like this way. So I can just, you know, laughing around the, what people say to me. But sometimes maybe I have taken too seriously. I just couldn't accept others. And then I, I totally felt depressed. So that is me in the past. Like I'm more based on what is correct and what is wrong. In the world, we have so many ideas what is correct and what is wrong. And then nowadays we have so many information. For example, if you go to the internet or maybe the TV uh, tele you many ideas um, mobile phone also spread many news and information so it's all many different ideas opinions every day and then I think it's, it's happening us right now is so many opinions so many ideas so of course maybe I chose some some correct thing which is not correct for you um, all, all things like can be happening like this way but I really wanted to know how I can communicate with, with others. So the, at that point, I think that I really need to change myself. So I quit being the one that, you know, I'm, I'm following and trusting the one that is correct or wrong, but I be more following the one that I, I feel good or I feel comfortable. I changed myself. And then now I felt much, much better. I somehow I realized that maybe if I couldn't have the same opinion with my family or with my close friends means that maybe we we are like a broken con connection like we are broken relationship but it, it doesn't really happen like this way you know you can still keep the different opinions but we can still try you know trying to to connect and then we can still communicate well with others so you know this is really how do you base on uh you feel good or you feel comfortable or what you like but more than you know like what is correct or wrong you can more choices yeah to to follow so that's what i really found like um it is much much easier for you if you still didn't do that like you you chose the one path like i really need to do this way but it's also okay to have another idea in the different situation. So sometimes people really cannot change yourself like you keep going with this idea for a long, long time. But I think sometimes uh, it's also good to be very flexible. So maybe uh, you can change this one. You can also change that one. So our correct or wrong information can be changeable uh, all the time. Yeah, just allow yourself. You can be more flexible. So this is my idea now, like I really recommend you if you still didn't that and then you really suffer the pain, you couldn't connect uh, with people, you feel like you are totally uh, broken all the time with relationships, you still have something to do. Actually, you can really uh, something to do for you first, like uh, to, to trust yourself and you can back on more like what you like, you, you feel comfortable. Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell you. I hope this information helps. The story today I told you is not really related to Reiki, but basically I also learned that many things from Reiki. For example, I, I practice in the Reiki breathing techniques. It really works amazing, uh, which can work negative emotions with me nicely. So my ideas and experience also, you know, is something covering with Reiki as well. But I think today the, the thing that I suggest is like basically everybody can try in such a simple way to make your life easier. Okay, so thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and see you next time and have a good Reiki day. Bye!